Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC out in the woods today and what we're filming you currently can't see because it is below the waist. What we're here today to look at is some more outdoors, well, I suppose you can wear them indoors as well, but we are here today to look at the Pentagon Rogue uh, jeans. So I've had these now for, well, actually when did I get these? I got these before IWA so I've probably had these for about two or three months now. Been wearing them day to day, been in the wash several times as well just to make sure that they, you know, they stay colour fast. <sighs> very impressed. What I tend to find with Pentagon products is I'm always very impressed. Let's turn the camera around and take a closer look. Now what I think is useful to do, as I always do, is just give you some information about me and my beautiful athletic dad bod figure. Uh, so I'm a 36 inch waist, these are a 36 inch waist and they fit me perfectly. My leg, so I'm, I'm kind of a 31 inch leg, sometimes a short, sometimes a regular works. Uh, for me with jeans, I like that turned up look. So I went for a 32 inch leg um, and they're fine. The gooch sits just right where it's supposed to. Um, so I would say that if you have a usual size, then go for your usual size. I haven't found that been, there's been any discrepancies between their 36 inch waist and my 36 inch waist when I have these on and they fit me perfectly. Now, as far as the colors are concerned, at the time of filming, um, these are just available in the one colour, uh, which is their, their, their kind of their dark blue indigo kind of colour. Um, very reminiscent of all of those classic blue jeans that, you know, you can get pretty much anywhere. So very, very, um, very nice as far as that colour is concerned. They have put in a little bit of kind of artificial wearing um, here around the groinal zone. Um, just to make them look a little bit weathered so that you don't just look like you've got a brand new pair of jeans on um, which has kind of been very fashionable over the last uh, decade or so. The materials that these are made from, these are made from 100% cotton. Now I will say that there does seem a little bit of stretch in them. I can't find any details on whether there's a, you know, a small percentage of elastin in there or something like that. Um, however, they do have a nice stretch. Um, part of the gusset, which we'll have a look at at the moment, um, but there's, there's, there's definitely a little bit more give, give to them. As far as the fit is concerned, um, they class this them as a regular fit. Personally, I'd say they're a little bit on the... They're, they're, they're certainly not skinny jeans. I definitely wouldn't call them skinny jeans. Um, however, they, they do have a uh, closer fit than a normal regular fit. Um, certainly, as I say, they're, they're, they're certainly not what you class as, um, as, as loose jeans, uh, as, sorry, as, as skinny jeans. I think part of the fact that they seem to have quite a bit of stretch in here as well certainly helps as well uh, when you're sat all day if you're driving if you're out walking I've done several long walks whilst wearing these and had no issues with chafage or anything like that as far as the cut is concerned I would say that these are a reasonably modern cut so for me it fits probably just about four four fingers below my belly button so historically they've tended maybe just to be an inch or so below the belly button or sometimes even on the belly button these do sit a little bit more on the hip rather than more kind of around the waist for me I prefer that having a, um, a beautiful dad bod where my muffin top overfloweth um, having them so that they're just a little bit lower for me um, personally I prefer that uh, in my day-to-day -day job, I'll be sat for seven hours a day and having something a little bit lower just means that my belt doesn't, um, doesn't, yeah, dig into my muffin top. Now starting at the top with the belt, so I'm currently wearing uh, one of my Core Essentials belts. These are a, uh, these are a, these are, these are a duty, well these are actually a, a, a duty belt. Um, so these are very rigid. Uh, this is a 1.75 inch 
these have two inch loops on here. Now at the front here, on, on, on both sides, there's actually a double loop, uh, and then there, is, then there is another one on the hip, and then there are two here at the back um, to, to, to keep your pants up at the back. They are, so here at the front, so these, these, are, these are doubled over, all of the others are just single loops. Um, again, it depends on how much you carry in your pants, how much they kind of sag a bit, whether that would be, that, whether that's, I would have actually have assumed that they would have put the wider ones on here if I was to give them some feedback, maybe just for peace of mind, because we get out, we do stupid things and, you know, these do get snagged. Um, that would be a little bit of advice back to Pentagon, but I'm sure they probably tested these out because I haven't been doing any stupid things with these. Uh, but yes, so two inch loops, uh, my 1.5 seven inch belt fits through perfectly. Now the closure on the front here, you'll be happy to hear this is, a, uh, this is an old fashioned button closure. Um, so a lot of other manufacturers have started to use a uh, hook and loop on them, which some people don't mind, some people absolutely hate. Um, but yes, so these do have um, uh, the, the button on there. And the button on here also has a little Pentagon branding on it, which, which I think is a nice feature. Um, so you can pull these together really easily because we've all been putting, you know, jeans on for the last god knows how many years and then the belt uh, sorry the, the the zip on here is a good old-fashioned ykk copper zip super easy to get up belts in do your little shuffle things so that you can get the end in through there and then bish bash bosh you are good oh i've got it stuck uh, yeah you're good to go for the day now coming down from the belt, from the waistline, uh, on the front, pockets wise, it's a fairly typical four pocket setup. So you have, uh, as, as you tend to get with jeans, you have two pockets either side. Now I'll show you this one mainly because it's, a, it's identical on the, on the other side. So you have your main pocket here, which is, I would definitely say is large. So I have a nine inch span. Now my thumb isn't fully extended, uh, but I can hold my hand in there like that. Um, plenty of room to get whatever it is that you need to get in there. On this side, I have my mobile phone in there. Um, and it fits it fits in um, fits in perfectly you also have uh, around the side here with with a stud on there for reinforcement uh, you also have some extra material so that if you do have a knife or a tool that you clip into your pocket on a regular basis maybe even it's just a flashlight that you clip on there uh, it just gives you some extra reinforcement now behind each of these pockets, the, the, the main pockets as, as such, uh, you have your regular small pocket. However, this is a regular small pocket on steroids. So what I have in here is one of my little EDC setups because usually, so you all know that usually these, I think these were originally designed either to have something like a, uh, a pocket, uh, pocket watch or like a, a small Zippo lighter in, because that's roughly what they fit. Let me just show you how big this is. So this is inside the small pocket behind here. So I can get my whole hand in there and I can do that with it. So if you have, if you have like a, one of these little sleeves, you can put a full sleeve into that pocket and not have any issues. It's almost like having a second one of these pockets just there so that you can put extra stuff into it. On this side, currently at the moment, I also have my uh, have my camera, camera lens cover in here, um, but I could fit a lot more in. And then just on the left pocket here, you have a small orange um, Pentagon, a uh, li little bit of wee branding. Now what you also get with these jeans that you tend to get with a lot of tactical style trousers, jeans, is you also get an additional pocket here. Now I'm actually, I'm just gonna take this out just for a second, just to, just to show, because it shows this, this pocket off a little bit here. So it's kind of on the front of your thigh. Um, you can, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you can fit your mobile phone into here. 
for me this is a Google Pixel 6 there's probably about 10 millimeters showing out the top I certainly wouldn't keep my mobile phone in there however if I was in the car and I wanted to keep my mobile phone in there it's great because I can get to my phone as quickly as possible uh, but really these are designed for these you know you know these metal weird things that some of us carry with us from time to time uh, so that will fit in there absolutely no issues 556 762 um, all fit in there your larger calibers I mean it, yeah it's, it's just not 762 um, for the old-fashioned metal mags uh, will s still fit in there uh, some of the 762 P mags fit in a lot easier because they, they don't have that lip that, that, that seam down the outside uh, but yes so if you're doing range days if you're doing drills whatever it is that you're doing then you have this pocket here now it's important that I tap that again because it is only just here this is the strange thing now I, I never really thought about this and it's just on the right hand side so maybe if you're driving you want to get your mobile phone then you've got it there but generally when I'm changing magazines, it's my left hand that's free to, to put the magazine up there and there isn't one on the left side. If it is that you're using these again, you know, these strange metal things that some of us tend to own, um, you kind of have to reach across to get it to then reload. Um, it's a, I mean, it's a design choice. They, they must have made that for some reason. I would have thought that they'd have thought, well, no, this is great for right-handed people, but actually if you're a left-handed person, this suits you better because that's your that's your reload hand. So yeah, so there you go. It's just a just a just a small observation. Now on the rear, your pockets on the rear are your fairly typical um, jeans, jeans pockets. So they're both identical. One here one here just on each buttock actually sits maybe just a little bit lower than your buttock because I think of the, uh, the, the, the lower slightly lower style of these jeans <clears throat> but very easy to be able to get your hand in if you want to grab your wallet uh, my wallet's here for a second so I can put that in um, fairly typical <clears throat> fairly typical operation with a you know a fairly typical pocket continuing the, the tactical side of these jeans, there is also a secondary pocket in here, which is rather than being, so some of these will have it so that it's just off to either the, well actually to, to, the, to the left or the right, closer to on your hip, there'll, there'll be an additional pocket here. This pocket is just in this lining. So there is a seam that comes across the top here and then dips down and that's where this extra pocket, oh no, hold on. Yes, sorry. <laughs> That's where this extra pocket is. So there's your normal pocket, and here is your hidden tactical pocket, which again will fit, again, one of these strange metal things that we carry with us. Now, I will say that these are completely symmetrical. So the one that I have on my left hip is also here on the right hand side. And that's my phone going off. I really shouldn't have. Uh... Sorry about that. There you go. Filming in the woods where I still get signal, but then when I go home, I don't get signal. Anyway, um, so yes, so it also fits in that pocket as well. Personally, on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than keeping my wallet in the normal pocket, because how I've talked about a lot of inner cities uh, with pickpocketing, it's rife nowadays. Having this in a different location is great. Personally, I keep my wallet in this small pocket so that if people are going to try and pickpocket me, it's not in the usual place that they have to go to. So there's your pockets, fairly standard, apart from these additional little um, kind of tactical pockets. After that, these are what I'd consider a fairly regular pair of jeans. The legs on them are great for me. There's just enough room, especially around especially around the thighs again i think the additional stretch that these have they don't limit any movement at all whatsoever being able to squat in them even lunges no issues whatsoever 
partly that is down to the, uh, the, the, the stretch that they have in here. But there is also, as you'll tend to find with, with, with a lot of these, they also have this diamond here within the gusset. What that is, does is just allows a little bit more kind of freedom of movement. What it also does is, as I'm, I'm sure many of you will have found, that because this stitch that would normally be here runs all the way from your from, from there to there, uh, that's the part that rubs, that you'll get some chafing on your skin, but also you'll find that that's the bit that wears. Being able to remove that, because this stitch doesn't go down there, it now goes all the way down around the side and then back there you have this kind of diamond in there like that. Uh, it, 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 it just reduces any sort of, uh, any sort of chafage whilst you're out walking. As far as the knees are concerned, there's no additional reinforcement on the knee. There's no additional kind of hidden pocket within inside the knee. It's a fairly typical run of the mill knee. Coming down to the cuffs um, at the bottom here. So as I mentioned, so I got these in a 32 inch leg. I could have gone for the short and then not turn them up. Personally, I just quite like that style. So for me, I went for the 32 inch leg and I've just turned them up roughly an inch. Um, but there's, there's no kind of um, double layer protection at the bottom, nothing like that. It's a fairly standard, typical cuff um, that you'd expect um, at, the bottom of, at the bottom of your jeans. Now I definitely think if you're after an everyday pair of jeans that just give you that extra that, that extra little je ne sais quoi. I think the Rogue jeans uh, from Pentagon will have that for you. Especially if you're a similar minded adventuring type that enjoys the pew pew life, shall we say. Um, then they certainly have that extra little je ne sais quoi that, you know, will, will, will certainly help with that. Um, if you don't enjoy that pew pew lifestyle, but you still enjoy an EDC lifestyle, the fact that you've got this extra secondary pocket there is brilliant. Um, having those, having this one on your thigh and the additional ones behind because you can put valuable items into there where pickpockets and less scrupulous types uh, certainly like to take things from. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a different situation for them, and you know it, it makes it harder for them to be able to muscle memory be able to take something out of your pocket whilst whilst you're out shopping probably for a new pair of jeans for your missus. Um, so yes, so yeah, really impressed with these. Now I have to say, having done quite a bit over the in 2023 with Pentagon items, they're really continuing to impress me so i'm looking forward to 2024 and seeing more uh, from, uh, from 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 pentagon and i do want to say at this point i want to say a huge thank you to the team at military first military first did send these to me um, with no obligation to review these fairly or unfairly um, we have a great i certainly have a great relationship with them they they do send me a lot of stuff um, if you don't know who Military First are, they are one of the largest, if not the largest, military, outdoors, adventuring, online retailers here in the UK that post all through the UK and through the rest of the world as well. They do have a lot of sales. These are currently on sale, but this is at the time of filming. So, you know, you might watch this in six months time and they may not be still be on sale. However, I do have a 10% off code. If you use the code MORELANDER10, that will get you an additional 10% off non-sale items. It's important that I stress that last bit. If they're already on sale, it doesn't give you an additional 10%. It's only on items that are not on sale. With MORELANDER10, you can get an additional 10% off, but yes. So I'll leave all of those links below so that you can see more from where you can pick these up from Military First. Um, I'll also leave some of my social media links below as well so you can see more from me here on Moreland EDC and also my sister channel Moreland Tactical. But for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moreland and stay EDC. Now I do this a lot. I know what I'm out here to film, but I'm always unsure of the name.
I was right. And I think, did I? Did I? I did. Even made some notes. <laughs>